Arnold, hello! I didn't know you were into football. You don't stop surprising me. Eh, the joy was short-lived. Be careful, or do you actually like dead pixels on your TV screen? What in the monkey butt are you up to? Well, Arnold, that's definitely in character for you. Now that's a quantum leap. Apparently the results of a very important match depends on you, and you are now football star Ronaldo. No, it's a common mistake. This is Ronaldo, a Brazilian player, and you're the holder of five golden balls, Cristiano Ronaldo, the Portuguese player. It's time to strike. Well, what did I expect with your physical form? Now, probably you should run away from all of the furious fans. Fortunately, you can hide from the millions of angry fans in your huge house. Arnaldo, you're in the servant's house, dumbass. Your magnificent mansion is a little further up the road. Such a huge house must have servants. In addition, there's a gym, a swimming pool, a billiard room, a spa, and two secret entrances that guarantee that no journalist will ever see you. Arnaldo, where are you? Oh, I know. Can you imagine that Ronaldo's body is only 7% body fat, though he's 35 years old? According to his biological readings, he has the health and body of a 23-year-old. Cristiano consumes about 3,000 calories a day, which he breaks up into six smaller meals. I know you do this too, but you don't move at all. Did you really think everything was going to be so easy? Cristiano has the most popular Instagram on earth, with almost 250 million subscribers, which is like 34% of Europe's population, or 76% of the USA's. And since they can't get to you in the real world, they're gonna get you through the internet. Did you somehow manage to screw this up as well? Looks like it's time to run away from your own house, dipwad. Yes, this is your garage. McLaren Senna, Rolls-Royce Phantom, Bugatti Chiron and Veyron, and a Ferrari 599 worth $7 million. Just don't slip on your saliva. Or I guess it can help you sail aboard your plush, luxury, $6 million, 27-meter yacht. Well, looks like you found a way to dodge the bullet once again. Arnold, watch out! The situation's not looking very good, Arnold. Wow, looks like you got lucky again, buddy. Get dressed, Arnie, because with a body like yours, we could lose our entire female audience. Looking for similarities between you and Schwarzenegger. You have one at least, and that's your names. You're going to have to start working out if you want to have a body like his. And also give up on your usual diet. Or do you maybe have some other options? Arnold, are you serious? Steroids! First off, it's illegal. And secondly, I repeat this, it's illegal. Muscles consisting of protein compounds are built up due to micro tears, which are restored within a few days and make the muscles stronger and larger. Steroids are substances that, once inside the body, are converted into hormones that double the recovery process, while at the same time drastically increasing muscle volume. After taking so much testosterone, irreversible processes begin in the body. You'll see an increase in acne, a decrease in testicle size, and unwarranted aggression. Although I will know what caused it and why. Don't worry, Arnold. At least you'll have something else big. It seems this wannabe treatment is made just for lazy people like you. In fact, using steroids means you don't even have to exercise in order to gain weight. Of course, consuming so much testosterone will increase your libido. You'll want more physical attention almost immediately. Hey, Arnold, come on. That's just too much. So, you decided to upload your photos to a dating app. Congratulations, you got a match. Judging by her photos, you have a lot in common. How are you going to surprise her on your first date? Great, Arnold. You two are definitely made for each other.
Good morning, Arnold. I see you didn't wake up alone. What? Are you scared, Arnold? I forgot to tell you, testosterone affects women in its own special way. They get facial hair like men, and their voice becomes deeper and rougher. But don't rush out like that. It's dangerous, because your heart is not as good as it used to be. Now you can easily have a heart attack. My friends don't act like that. Arnold, what have you done this time? Oh, not you, but rather your dangerous aunt. After she walked free last time, she got up to her old nefarious yeah. habits again. And now the FBI are taking you for 24 hours because, well, you know her best. There are about 15,000 agents working for the FBI with 56 regional offices. Their main training facility is located in Quantico, Virginia. Virginia. More than a hundred special agents are at the facility at any given time, ready to train new agents. They'll also teach our Arnold. An FBI agent has to be prepared for anything, but not for this. How can that even possibly come in handy, Arnold? FBI agents received the right to carry weapons in 1934, a whole 26 years after their founding. Nowadays, marksmanship training is absolutely necessary. And one of the most important courses. And Arnold seems to be doing just fine. Having proved his abilities at all stages of training, our Arnold will become an FBI agent for 24 hours. Not bad company, Arnie. Perhaps our Arnold will try his hand at the cyber department created in 2002. That's where they have the kind of cutting-edge technology that will help Arnold in his search. Have you actually found what you're looking for already, Arnold? Come on, buck up, Arnold. I knew I shouldn't have expected much. After all, your belly always comes first. Thanks to a tip-off that was received by, of course, not Arnold, the FBI managed to find out where his aunt's accomplice lives, the infamous biker known as Buffalo Joe. And now a special operation is being carried out. Here's our suspect. Everybody get ready. Oh, come on, Arnold. It's always something with you. Arnold, come on. Your colleagues need help. How are you going to stop him like that? What? It can't be. Somehow, your idiocy serves you well. Here's your chance to interrogate a prisoner. Well, Arnold, to get answers, you have to ask questions. And they say silence is golden. Oh, you have an idea, do you? You are gonna give him a lesson on good behavior? Oh, God, what a treacherous move. Yo! Wow, this is Seiko Shidori, former captain of the Sky Guard. As a child, he was admitted to the Heaven Corps, where he defended his country from the Shingami, vampires, pirates, and girls und Panzer. When all his friends turned away from him, he was left alone with the darkness inside of him. Arnold, you are now in the most popular anime genre, Shonen. Shonen is a story about a hero that starts out at the bottom, then makes his way to the top, finally defeating his main opponent. You have to train hard to get stronger and understand his philosophy. Forward is the only way. Meet anime high school culture, an important period in the life of any anime teenager. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you, in anime, Every girl is perfect. For some men, this overestimates the requirement for their significant other. And often enough, this rivalry is won by the wife or the drawn wife. Arnold, it seems like you were born to be an anime. A utopia like this can only be prevented by Gundams from the mecha and kaiju genres. To create an anime, you first have to draw a manga. Manga is pretty much just like a comic book, only you read it backwards. In Japan, they use more paper to print manga than for toilet paper. Anime has grown from cheap animation into an entire thriving industry. By the way, those two girls are your stepsisters. Don't worry, it's okay in the etchy genre. There he is, and you are prepared for this battle. Release your Bankai, and don't waste your Furioku. Hajime, harness the power of the founding time. Titan, control your Reiatsu. Seiko Shidori is weak. Only darkness is left at his disposal. And you have the light given to you by friendship. Remember what this is all for. And don't let anyone knock you off your feet! He 
plans to jump across the Grand Canyon on a skateboard and get 10 million views in one day. Don't! You look like crap. But it was worth it. You cheered up a lot of people. Wait, are you in a coma? Looking at you, you'd think you're dead, but you're still alive inside. In a coma, you're unable to respond to external stimuli. Because of this, you'll be the best K-pop fan. And you'll be able to listen to the same song on repeat for years. People can be in a coma from a few days to a dozen years. Edward Obara fell into a coma at the age of 16 and spent 42 years this way. According to patients, during a coma, they feel like some kind of matter. They wandered along long and damp corridors, mazes, went through complex mechanisms. The degree of a coma is determined by the Glasgow Coma Scale, where 15 points is clear consciousness and three points is brain death. Arnold, they're gonna turn off the machine! Wake up, uh -huh. and I promise no more experiments on you. There's a light at the end of the tunnel. Come on, Arnie, you can do it. I know someone who can help. Dr. Joe has a secret formula that can reduce any pain. But you redheads need more anesthesia than ordinary people. This is due to a gene that gives you your red hair color. Our bodies are made up of a huge number of cells. In order for them to interact, there are special proteins in the cell membrane, ion channels. Ion channels are something like gates for the senses. Thanks to them, we can feel warm and cold, smell and taste, and also experience pain. You can eat plenty of chocolate, Arnold. It's scientifically proven that chocolate can cause headaches. Perhaps, Arnold, this defect suits you, since you'll never have to feel the physical pain that I have to inflict on you. But don't celebrate just yet, buddy. Pain can also be emotional. So hold on. For example, unrequited love. This type of pain is experienced by people who sold their Bitcoin in 2015. Arnie, friend, cheer up. You don't feel pain and this can help emphasize your individuality. For example, you can insert a diamond into your forehead, just like the famous rapper Lil Uzi Vert. There are some people in the world who don't feel any pain at all. This is a consequence of a defect in the SCN9A gene. Such people can distinguish cold and hot. They feel touch, but the pain signals don't come through. Arnold, are you really gonna beat up Tagai's boyfriend for that kiss? Remember, Arnold, not feeling pain doesn't mean that you're immortal. You need to go to the hospital immediately. I see, you're still the same lazy guy. So while you don't feel pain, even ordinary tape will do. Oops, it looks like the effect of Dr. Joe's drug is over. Welcome back to normal life, Arnold. What you reading? Hmm. One, he might have a scary mask on his face. Uh, Arnie, are you sure you really want to be reading this in a secluded park? The second sign of a maniac is a knife or other weapon in their hands. Are you sure you really want to know the third sign? The maniac has huge silicone... Wait, that's not it. He always attacks without warning! Fight for your life, Arnold! Try somehow to divert the maniac's attention and slip away. Never mind. You should run to a public place and get people's attention. Why is no one responding? Psychologists advise shouting fire instead of help. This way, people will notice you faster. Sure, calling the police is a great idea. Now, 48 hours after your death, they'll really definitely start looking for you. Just kidding. Wait until they arrive. Also, gym time is over. Looks like you were able to get away. But don't rush to rejoice just yet. Some maniacs hunt their victims for months and can predict exactly where they'll go next.
By the way, dark alleys are a bad place to try and hide. It looks like nothing is going to help you. Except, well, maybe that. Ingratiate yourself with the maniac. Motives of maniacs can be different. Some want power, others suffer from delusions, and some consider themselves purifiers of society. But absolutely all of them are lonely and deeply hurt people. If you treat the maniac well, then there's a chance you might survive. Yes, you'll have to put up with a few really scary things and listen to his crazy ideas. But someday it will end. The main thing is, never show your true emotions. Remember, salvation will come. <gasps> then it remains only to be explained to the police why the maniac considers you his best friend. Mm -hmm. Everyone is hunting for you. 195 countries have posted your photo on all possible media. You're in all of the police databases, and not only the world's police, but all the best special forces in the world are after you. MI6, British Intelligence, which has been working around the clock for 100 years straight. ISI, Pakistan's Interdepartmental Intelligence Agency, with the largest residency in the world, 10,000 agents. The CIA, watch out Arnie, they torture people. The Canadian Intelligence Service, with a search budget of over $507 million. Do you really think you can hide from all of them? You're on every single smartphone in social media. You become more popular than Greta Thunberg. I'm sure she envies you now. After all, you can actually help save humanity. Just give them your blood, all the way down to the last drop. Elite special forces from all countries are already coming for you. U.S. Navy SEALs, the French National Gendarmerie, Chinese Snow Leopards. But of course, even a random student could catch you. Big Brother is watching you. In New York City alone, there are about 20,000 surveillance cameras. They take photos, compare the distance between the main features on your face, nose, eyes, mouth. Data is converted into a person's numeric code, a face print, and verified with the database. In addition, on the darknet, anyone can buy image databases from video cameras of cafes, hospitals, shopping centers, even near the main FBI headquarters. Meaning they can find out where you were just five minutes ago. Catch this, these glasses with built-in infrared LEDs will help you to hide your face from the cameras. For them, your face will look like a glowing blind spot. Wait a bit, you forgot the battery. This isn't enough. You need a disguise. It was a bad idea to eat this many donuts. They provoked an excessive accumulation of gases. Unleash the winds! You look good, but search dogs will find you by the smell of butyric acid, the odorous component of your sweat. It won't help that just one gram of sweat is enough for the dog to smell you on the roof of that 10-story building, or at a depth of 15 feet under concrete. In the United States alone, there are nearly 7 million drones. Stop waving and take this special weapon against drones. This gun fires a wide stream of electromagnetic emissions so you don't have to aim. It's enough for the interference stream to cover the drone, and then it'll lose contact with its base and lose control. What have you done? Get lost in the crowd, bone brain! Well, you have to kiss. Wait, what's that? A dating app? That's smart. Your head fits perfectly on this jacked up body. Lucky you. But now, in order to go on a date, you have to spend 18 hours and 45 minutes on a plane because this is the longest flight in the world. And you screwed up again. Now you have to complete three tasks to meet your chosen one. Or just survive. 
Let's see what your advantages are. Small brain, feeble hands, fast food lover. Everything is like in real life. Now choose your skin. You can't go on a date empty-handed. Find something, Arnie. Hmm, the biggest flower in the world. Phew, it stinks like rotten meat. If your girlfriend was a fly, she'd appreciate the fragrance. These cute creatures simply want to give you malaria, anthrax, or diarrhea. Nothing crazy. What, they did already? There aren't many public toilets in the jungle, but instead you can do it like our ancestors did. This is a scavenger, Arnie. They pick up everything that stinks. It'd be better if you washed in the morning. Get on the vines! They can handle even an elephant! Hmm... After one and a half hours, the gastric juice of the python will completely digest your bones. You need a knife to cut the belly. That would have saved you on a date with a woman, but not with a python. I caught a python. Let's see what's inside it. Only I can be the survival expert here. Get out! Get yourself in order. You have a date soon, and you're covered in mucus and slime. You survived and didn't even lose a single finger. Jumanji! Okay, Arnold. I built a machine that makes things invisible for 24 hours. There are three possible approaches to invisibility. The first is perfect transparency, which sadly we cannot achieve. The second is camouflage, when the light rays emanating from the object correspond to the rays that we would expect to see in the absence of the object. This is exactly what my machine does. And the third and last approach is when an object is swathed in a metamaterial, something like an invisible hat, that transforms the path of light rays so that they seem unchanged. Now, we'll try it on a pizza. If everything works out, it will be a pizza that you won't have to share with your friends. Okay, I'm throwing the first switch. Did you know that the first three-dimensional invisibility was achieved by a group from the University of California, Berkeley in 2008? They created a mesh of silver microfibers that doesn't reflect or absorb light rays. As a result, the eye sees light only from the objects behind the camouflaged entity. Now the second switch. Don't move, Arnold. Wait, what are you? Oh, you are such an imbecile. I'd smack you upside your head, but damn it, I don't know where you are. Put this hat on so I can see you. Okay, you have 24 hours. What are you going to do? Who'd have any doubt that's where you'd go first? If my machine worked according to the principle of invisibility, you'd become blind because the invisible body's refractive index becomes equal to that of air, and the lenses in your eyes would lose the ability to reflect light rays and focus them on the retina. The retina itself also wouldn't be able to absorb visible light with its rods and cones due to its invisibility. But as I can see, your eyesight seems to be okay, you slobbering ignoramus. Okay, now that the gym is closing, can we do something else? You have 18 hours left. I meant something a little more significant, you block-headed jerk monkey. After all, you could reveal terrible secrets and perform incredible feats. You could even make your way into Area 51. Oh, right, it's in a different state. Do you have any ideas? Are you thinking about stealing it? That's a terrible idea. In any case, you need a plan. Of course, thanks to invisibility, you'll be able to stay long after closing. But then you'll need to bypass the guards. And there are also lasers all around the diamond. Can you really do a triple somersault, steal the diamond, and leave the museum in the car that will bring new antiquities for the exposition exactly at 2 a.m.? Even so, this is a really bad idea.
The museum closes in an hour. Go hide in the corner and wait. And take off your hat, you mutton-headed twit. Get ready, Arnold. The main thing, obviously, is not to get caught. Arnold, it's go time! Aw, oh, nuts! All you had to do was a triple somersault, and you screwed it up again. <sighs> well, now, now you have to run for your life, Arnold! The exit is just around the corner. Come on, Arnold, you can do it! Damn, looks like you stole a glass copy of the diamond. Well, I gotta say this is an unfortunate turn of events. Although, to be honest, it's pretty logical that the original would be kept in a safe. Now you'll never have the love of the beautiful Tug-Eye. Arnold! Arnold! Wake up! I have a surprise for you. Of course, you know I'm your ally in battling your social phobia. I've decided to help you by moving you further away from people, specifically to the top of Mount Everest. The mountain's other name is Chomolungma, and it's the highest point on planet Earth. By the way, just saying, but you owe me $50,000. This is the average price for an expedition up here. To survive at the top, you need top-level equipment. After all, there's very little oxygen, and it's extremely cold. Go down, quickly, at least a kilometer. Hurry up, Arnold, but move as slowly as possible. Oxygen is only one-third the normal here. Try to save your energy. Lack of air causes the brain to misperceive time. Crawling five meters in three hours sounds a little too slow to me. Fortunately, the wind at the top reaches 200 meters per second, and it can help us. You can fly eight kilometers in just three minutes. But be careful, the ledges may get in your way. Lucky you, you fell into the trash. Everest tourists leave so much garbage on the mountain that the government pays $2 for every kilogram of garbage collected. I see you're trying to pay me my $50,000 back. Arnold, try not to breathe so much. At a temperature of minus 60 degrees Celsius, your lungs will begin to dry out. Mountain coughs are so bad they can even break your ribs. I'm sorry, Arnold, but climbers can't remove corpses from Mount Everest. It's impossible. Moreover, corpses are used as height markers for mountain peaks. Well, Arnold, at least you found something useful to do. I see you're really happy to be here, buddy, especially after such fiercely cold conditions. Uh, I think perhaps you're enjoying it a little too much. Hello, Arnold. It looks like you started hallucinating from a lack of oxygen, and someone brought you to the campfire. I'm glad that you woke up, but there are still six kilometers ahead of us. Unfortunately, I don't think you have the strength left to reach home. But wait, Arnold, I have an idea. You can repeat the feat of Marco Sifredi. In 2001, he descended Mount Everest on a snowboard. I believe in you, Arnold. Multiple broken bones and the last stages of frostbite. But we reached the Earth! Arnold, it's unbelievable! Come on, shout with me. Hooray! Ah! <laughs> Arnold, I was just kidding. You can't scream in the mountains. It can trigger an avalanche. Don't worry, Arnold. I'm not going to leave you here. You still owe me $50,000. Arnold, come on. This isn't fair. Okay. I'm going to go get a shovel. Have you recuperated after the volcano? Then how about some time travel? Not too far. Say about 66 million years ago. All right, you're there. Remember the time traveler's rule of thumb. Don't interfere with the lives of the locals, such as this one, for example. Otherwise, you risk changing the course of evolution of all humankind. Arnold, it's not a bear. Up with your ass and get out of here. A T-Rex can develop speeds of up to 12 miles per hour. Given your current shape, it's time for you to start praying. After all, the power of this lizard's bite is almost twice that of Megalodon, and with its muscle strength, it could easily juggle a hippo. Arnold, I warned you, look where you step. Don't run straight ahead, try zigzagging. The weight of 7 tons and the body length of 13 meters makes the T-Rex a really ungainly creature. 
it needs four seconds just to turn its body 90 degrees. So there's a head start for you. And if the dinosaur stumbles, it may seriously damage itself. Not to mention that getting up is no easy task. Arnie, how about you try winning your life back from this guy in arm wrestling? Ready? Go! A Tyrannosaurus forelimb doesn't look like much relative to its whole body, but it's still up to 3 feet long, and the biceps muscle can lift a weight of 420 pounds, which is almost three times the weight of your entire body. There is one finer point, though. T-Rex can't rotate or flex its arms, so with the right technique, you have every chance to win. Come on, Arnie, show that beast who's the king of dinosaurs here. Okay, clearly luck wasn't on your side today.